these are the steps to be taken to install Windows 11 on a boot camp partition on your Mac. Make sure you download the ISO file. You can run the program using the command line. The prompt should be setup exe forward slash product server. Then the installation process will take place. Make sure you follow the prompts. The system will restart a number of times. So here is where you get the Windows download ISO. Make sure you download it and mount it as required. The download link is valid for about 24 hours. This is how you can mount the ISO file and make it into a drive to install Windows 11. Right click on the downloaded file, select mount, and this should not be visible as a drive on your computer. If you open the file, by clicking open, you should be able to see the setup.exe file, which can be used to install Windows 11. Under this PC, you should be able to see the DVD drive, which you actually mounted from the ISO file. And by double clicking it, you, wish, you should be able to install the Windows 11. We will just see what would happen if we do that, since this is a bootcamp drive. The installation of Windows will start because we just double clicked on the D drive. Just follow the prompts. At this time, Windows is checking to see if it is suitable for installation of Windows 11. As it is a boot camp, this is what you will see if you try to make a direct installation. This PC doesn't currently meet Windows 11 system requirements. The PC must support TPM 2.0, which is not happening. So this is the problem trying to install Windows 11 directly into a boot camp. So we have to use an alternate way, and that's what we're going to see very soon. We will use command prompt to install Windows. And for that, go to the search bar, type in CMD, and right click the command prompt and run as administrator. Once the command prompt starts, type in D colon. Now this will take you to the D drive. Next you type in setup.exe. forward slash product server. So now we will install Windows 11 server in the boot camp and this does not require the TPM 2.0 or secure boot. Now the Windows 11 server installation will start just like before, but this time the process will continue. Just follow the prompts and then the installation will, will go to completion. Now you will notice that checking the PC allows it to continue the process and asking you to accept the terms and conditions and the installation process is going to completion. This is one location where you need to pay some attention. There are three options. You can keep files and settings or you can make a new installation altogether. The choice is yours. I did keep my files, settings, and apps, so it worked perfectly well. For my second computer, which is an older version, I made a reinstallation. The screen will go blank as seen here and 
Don't forget to hold the option key to reboot back into Windows when it restarts. And finally, we have Windows 11 installed on Bootcamp, but it is the Windows 11 server. That's it for now.